It's really heavy on the I hate my dad music today. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Dude, I haven't touched a sandbag in almost three years, and that was a 200. No! Cool, yeah. Well, we didn't do an introduction, but um, today we're training back. This is one of my best friends, Adam. He's all right. Hello. One of our other best friends, Serge. And then uh, we had Shane here, but he left because he doesn't care. That's all fat. <laughs> Bro, ow. I missed that. That was gross. Oh, yeah. I was at a meet, and this lady's friend was up, and there was an older lady kind of coaching her. And everybody was hyping her up, and all I hear is, "Go do something cool." I'm like, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> when I was when I was competing at like my second meet, my mom didn't know what to say at powerlifting meets, so she would just go up and be like, "Strength, <laughs> power." <laughs> I was like, "Okay." You just start yelling random words. Thank you, mom. Don't <laughs> <I> forget. <laughs> Strength, power. Um. Strong. Be strong. I'm like, damn, I'm trying. How do you say princess in Spanish? Princess in Spanish. El Princess. El Princess? El Princess. Is that really it? I feel like it would be like Princessa. 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 How do you say princess treatment? That's a whole long ass phrase. Yeah, like, come yeah. on. Oh, I already did for the right Princessa. Oh, that's slower? Sounds like you said something about your vagina. Honestly. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we gotta go low. Oh, okay. Tratamiento de princesa? Yes! You have until 18 weeks to make your choice. Alright? Only 18 weeks to decide? Yeah, no, you have until 18 weeks. What do you mean? You like, until you're until eight weeks, ten weeks out. We have two more weeks to decide. I know. I've started to eat less cookies just yeah. in case. I was saying you're freaking like crazy. If if all you need to do is come in conditioning, we're talking. Sorry. <laughs> I when I'm the mic's still. Out, we gotta talk. Yeah, I'm still eating cookies, just like a little bit less. Yeah. So, I got a couple weeks to. If you guys want to get like really fat. No, the next I week. made it a goal now by November. Not fat, yeah, but November I need a six pack. we want to have a last cheat meal together. Come on, Adam. I want to go to a... Where are we talking about? Food. We're Let's here? Go. Wicker Park? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I need a six pack by November. <laughs> by November? Yep. Next year? This year. Not a dad bod, that's a father figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's my concept. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's why I like that a lot. <laughs> Tratamiento de princesa. <laughs> All right, here we go. Come on, come on. Whoa, I didn't even drink my pre-workout. 
What? One of these three? <laughs> that would help, Thank but I don't you. wanna. Oh. You know you're angry. <laughs> Thank you. One for USA. One for redemption. <laughs> One for the gram. No. Hold. Hold. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on. Push in the middle. There you go. Come on. Come on. Down to uh, uh, oh. oh, God. That's terrible. Yeah, it was horrible. Horrible? Ah. What do you mean horrible? Like, You're just talking shit because I was yeah. talking shit to you. Yeah, look how quick it got to you. <coughs> Damn. Shite. What's that say? Content? <laughs> What's that say? <laughs> stop stop <laughs> cyberbullying <laughs> me. Um, it's got worse for everything. This, this is all. This is With friends like you, Serge, <laughs> who needs enemies? Oh, this is going to go horrible. Good luck. Less traps. Good. If you know, then do it. Come on. Yeah, good. Come on. Mm -hmm. Let's go. That bothers my lower back. Come on. Do you want a big bench or what? I had a big bench, I'll smile. Come on. You got five more? One. Two. Mm hmm. Hold. Squeeze that bitch shoulder. Okay. Yaw. Yeah. Yaw. Yeah. Yaw. Yeah. Sometimes maybe good. Sometimes maybe good. Sometimes, Sometimes maybe, maybe, maybe shit. shit. Oh. How many lat exercises have we done now? We've done. We've done yeah. one, two, pole. three, did that pole. four. Then we did this guy, and then you did the handle. So you do. Do you want to do arms now? Do you? Man, my lats are pretty toasted. Okay, that's fine. I'll, do you I'll, feel? I thought you guys wanted to do another back, but yeah, I'll do arms. You good to go to arms now, or? I'm here for the joy of it. Cool, arm day. I know you are not going no 10 pounds. No, actually, no. You feel how easy, yeah. 40? Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. No. Oh, look at that, look at that guy. Oh, wait, right there. I don't know how depth for stuff. Oh, you're frickin' your back. Massive. Yeah. Nobody ever does supinated. They wonder why their triceps aren't big. It's almost like I know what I'm talking about. Let's see your triceps. Gotta hide them. You do have pretty big triceps. I have freaking amazing triceps. I'll go weight for weight with anybody in this gym, triceps. Anybody. Anybody. Oh yeah. Oh, 
Yeah. You what? I do too. What? That? Yeah. So honestly, I thought we were doing biceps. Yeah. I'm can't do anything on biceps. Why? No, I'm just like I'm very weak. Oh. So compared it's also to triceps. Your, your mindset. So. Oh. Whatever. You're right. Uh, hey. Hi. I'm so happy to see you. Hello. I'm probably really stinky, but. Okay. I was, Sorry. I was, say, I was just admiring how pretty Alexa is. That's all. Thank you. You want to go up and wait, or? I didn't know Shane left his sandbags over here. All right, Adam. We're being cool. I don't even know if it's on, like, working with me. So. Can't wait to tell Derek Lunsford. You what? Can't wait to tell Derek Lunsford. Are you going to kiss him? If he lets me. Are you going to kiss him on the mouth? If he lets me. I thought you were doing a drop set. Oh, I was. I'm sorry. I forgot. <laughs> it freaking felt like a drop set. Yeah. Adam Rivera kisses Derek Lunsford on the mouth. 2024 Arnold. <laughs> 2024 Arnold. <laughs> Ban this guy forever. Did you say you chased down Polly D? <laughs> yeah. Hey, we didn't get to do an intro because your girl forgot her SD card, but thankfully, Adam came in clutch. Um, he's a photographer. He does so much of the stuff that you see on my Instagram page, and he's more of a friend than somebody that I, I just work with. Well, he's mainly a friend. Um, and uh, I told him, hey, we're going to vlog our training session today. Showed up without the SD card. So thankfully he was running late and brought one for me. So shout out to Adam <laughs> for being the fucking goat. Great back day today with uh, my wonderful friends. In the beginning of the clip, you saw um, most of my training group. It's been a little bit incohesive with the group recently. Just like scheduling conflicts, one of those, I don't know, just one of those moments where we're not all training together, um, but nothing's happened, um, and I'm sure that we will get back to it, it's just one of those things that sometimes it doesn't always work, but uh, my training group is often me, Adam, Serge, Shane, and then Alexa uh, when she has, she's when she's not busy saving lives, um, and her boyfriend Dom when he's uh, not busy saving lives as well. Sometimes we have fantastic guests with us, um, like our girl Lexi who lives in Austin. But for the main part, it's usually me, Serge, Shane, Adam, and at least once a week, Lexi, Alexa. Anywho, great session today. Back attack. Fucking went for it. And I'm feeling good feeling good we haven't trained as a group in a while and to be honest I have been so tired recently that training has been difficult man like when it's just me I'm kind of thinking about usually I do train really well by myself I have often trained by myself that's how I usually like to work but training with a group like this and training with these dudes they do push me and they do a lot of training that I don't normally do. I started working out with them um, like two, three months ago. We've been consistently training together. It's been like peak off season where I didn't really know what the fuck I was doing. I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to, to be honest, really do much like wellness training or competing in wellness. Not that I'm really sure right now. Um, so I was like, let's just, let's do whatever. I'll go with the flow. I like creating training sessions, but it's, I've never really had a training partner. I've always trained by myself. Um, sometimes I've had like my partner come with, um, but uh, for a long time, it, it's just been me now. So um, yeah, especially just training with people who push it. There's no like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm a very like, Sometimes I'm a little bit too much of a scientific coach where I'm like, volume is this and this and this and it's got to be this. But these dudes are like, I don't care. We're, I, I'm doing this, ex this exercise because it sounded good and we're going to just die on it a little bit. And we're going to do a drop set or we're going to do this. And that's been fun. It's just been different. It's good to make training different. It's good like during those periods of your life where it's difficult to step foot into the gym and you've got a lot of friction to get there. It's good to just 
get rid of all of these barriers of entry and just go. Just make it fun. Because the whole point of fitness is for that to be a positive thing in your life. And if it's this thing now that I'm dreading, it's beside the point. Especially if I'm not getting ready for a show or some type of competition. It can't just be this dread. Especially when training used to be and has for the most part been a joy in my life. I don't know. It was just time to like let go of the reins and just train with my friends. And it's been freaking awesome. And I feel like my upper body's gotten so huge because of it. Because I've been a wellness girl for the last few years, I've just trained legs or glutes. And yeah, so I might have to pull back a little bit on the upper body training. Just make that kind of a a little pump day. But it's been a blast, dude. It's been good to like just have people around me. I've been in a period of my life where I've just needed like not just anybody. These people are very special people. They are people that care about me. I've needed to be around people that care about me. And, um, yeah, I'm I'm grateful for these, these guys who are like been like brothers to me and so grateful. Um, they're all goofy as hell (laughs) as you can see in today's training, but yeah, it's just a good time. And, um, I'm not sure where competing will go right now. Part of me feels really pulled to do it. Part of me says crumble cookies is really good. (laughs) Not even just crumble cookies, but I got a KitchenAid and I've been making cookies a lot and that's been really nice. The main thing, the main thing is that I'm moving again. (laughs) Again, in about two weeks, um, I've got a new apartment It'll be me and Benji and we're getting a little puppy. I know. Crazy. But I always heard that it's better to have two dogs than one. And because I do a lot of work at home and because I won't have like a yard anymore, I wanted Benji to have a sister. I've always wanted Benji to have a sister. So that's what we're doing. Um... So yeah, we're getting a little baby and I don't know what I want to name her yet. I wanted to name her something kind of bookish. I know it's super lame. I have loved the Akotar series, Court of Thorns and Roses. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I'm kind of a nut about it. So I've stayed in the Sarah Jane Mass world and from Akotar, I went to Throne of Gra- Glass where I'm now on um, Assassin's Blade. There's a couple more books and then from that, I will go to Crescent City. But anyway, I've been trying to find a name for this little girl. She is a little baby husky. I want to use like an Aquatar, Throne of Glass, whatever kind of name, or just like a bookish name. Two syllables or less. I I always pictured myself having another B-named dog, like Benji and Benji and Bailey. Uh, But I don't know. I really like Farrah. If you have any recommendations, let me know. (sighs) Shopping for apartment stuff is hard. Because I really like the minimalist look, but I also like the maximalist look. (laughs) I like to have colors. So I don't know. A girl is torn. Anyway, I'm getting a little bit hypo. So we're going to go drive home now and get some carbs in us. Okay, let's go. Okay.